This pen has a twist. All right, this one. Hello, my name is Chris, and this is Writing Delight. You certainly know the Hugo Boss brand, but just from the fashion sector. So the question remains, are fountain pens from Hugo Boss just an accessory? Are they good as fountain pens? We look at this today with a twist. And before we start, I would appreciate a like and a subscription. You use keep coming here as well as how to's and more. The twist definitely gets its name from the cap, as it has a twisted shape. The barrel has a fine pattern engraved on it. Both are made of satin metal, in this case the color gum. So a darker shade of grey. Under the cap we have a high gloss decorative ring engraved with the Hugo Boss lettering. Underneath the cap we have a metal grip piece and the sleek nib that is typical of Hugo Boss. While the fountain pen only comes with a standard cartridge, I've added a converter to it here. If you look closely at the details, we can see very nicely the engraving of the lettering here. And of course, the engraving of the barrel. This one looks quite sharp in detail here, but it's not. It actually results in a nice feel. The nib has a slightly crooked tip on my model. As you can clearly see here, it's not intentional, it's a flaw. But it's only a minor optical flaw. Because it's not really noticeable to the naked eye, and secondly, it doesn't affect the writing capabilities of the nib. Because it writes without any problem. But it's interesting to see something like this. In the hand, the fountain pen from Hugo Boss is quite good. It has a metal grip piece, which not everyone likes. But from the length and weight distribution, the pen is good. When you post the cap, the fountain pen becomes very heavy at the back. Too heavy, in my eyes. But you don't have to post the cap. The Hugo Boss twist writes well, despite the slightly skewed tip. The nib, which is about medium size, glides well over the paper with a light feedback. And it is capable of a slight line variance, which is fine by me. By the way, it is filled with Kaveco Summer Purple ink. Some people prefer nibs that are rigid so they produce almost no line variants. I prefer nibs that can be flexed a bit. But it also depends a bit on my mood. Of course, it's interesting to see how the fountain pen compresses in size. We have it here together with the Visconti Homo sapiens, a Stadler Initium Resina, a Pelican M805 metal strut, a Platinum Procyon, and a Lamy Safari. In this selection, the twist has a thinnest barrel, but is otherwise the same length. Even with the cap posted or off, it doesn't stand out much. In the second comparison, here it is with a Stadler TRX, a Diplomat Excellence Wave, a Platinum Plaisir, an online Bohemian Art, and an Otto Hood Design 04. Here it is also within the range of the others, with the exception of the medium sized online Bohemian Art, of course. And to address the question posed at the beginning, yes, the fountain pen is quite good. It has a nib that writes pleasantly, can even do a little line variance. And with that, it's safe to say that these pens from Hugo Boss are not just accessories. They are serious writing instruments. Even though it is a shame that there is no choice of lip sizes. That would make these pens stand out a bit more. But we do have a medium nip here, which is used by most people after all. Which nip size do you prefer? The fountain pen is discreet at first glance. The grey exterior is not particularly noticeable. But at second glance, the special features become clear, the twisted cap and the patterned barrel. As mentioned at the beginning, the twist is made of metal. The shaft is not particularly heavy, however. 
In contrast to the cap, this has a clear weight. As always, you can find the exact details in the description below. So a bit below the subscribe button, which you are welcome to press. So the fountain pen is not that heavy, but of course a bit heavier than a plastic fountain pen. The grip zone is a metal grip zone, so not for everyone, but the shape of the grip zone is pleasant. That the nip here has a skewed tip is of course not optimal, but it writes, without difficulty. Such a thing should not happen, but it can happen. This is not the fault of Hugo Boss, who only buy in the nips, as most manufacturers do nowadays. Have you ever had a really defective nip with a new fountain pen? What happened to it? Tell us about it in the comments. All in all, we have here with the fountain pen quite a writing instrument which can be used well. Now the brand Hugo Boss is not the brand name in the stationary sector as such, but the fountain pens are good to use. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. Every two weeks there will be a new video about fountain pens and writing. See you next time.